What time is it, Jerry Shoal? 3.05, take it to the house. Time for the what? Time for the disclaimer. The last what? The last real screaming segment. What kind of beer you drink? Millie tonight. Diet. What kind of beer does Pedro Moscato drink? Bud Weiser. Bud Weiser. I like it. Hold on, wait a second. What about Harry Hindu? Wait a second. Bud Weiser. Harry Hindu, what's he drink? I think he drinks the blood of the Jewish people. <laughs> he is not a really Hindu, my friend. He is from Kabul. Kabul. <laughs> Kabul, Afghanistan. You know what they make? They make it the flower to get you all high, my friend. Oh, the, the peyote. No, I think he's, I think he's calling in right now. Who is calling in, my friend? Hold on a second. Real Salt Water Outdoors call you there. Hello, my name is Eric Hindu, and I'm coming to you live from Kabul. I have opened a new store by the embassy. I am digging a tunnel. I mean, I am stocking my shelves now. What are you selling at the new store? I have AK 47s. I also have. I also have Venice for the C4. And I also make for have another store, Tricky D's, down in Inglewood. I am going to open shortly. I am presently running a sale on surface to El Miser. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder fired. You should come get one now. What's the price of that? It is negotiable. Depending on how much you want. If you buy in bulk, I obviously give you better price reputation. It's at your own risk. I hear Rufus T. Booyah was over there working for you. Rufus T. Booyah does not like me. We have beef with each other. Merka. Merka. I don't even like that dude. That dude there crazy. He like to blow up Jewish people. They stabbing people over there. Them boys over there fools. They need to get kicked right in their face. You put that dude on over here, he won't have a chance to hit that button on that vest. I'll snatch his neck right out of his shoulders. <laughs> that some, some, uh, some a female dog. I'm on the radio. I can't cuss. Welcome aboard, Rufus T. Booyah. What's going on? I'm here, man. I've been drinking all day in the, in the blue room over there because somebody thought it'd be funny to paint it blue. I don't know who came up with that idea. That must have been that Pedro Pascato. He painted yep. Mexican flags all over the place. He told me, you know, Pedro Pascato told me he'd support Donald Trump. He must not really? be illegal. He's oh. working on it. He said, I'm with 11 million. They're going to deport. He said, deport me to Hawaii. He said, you want to learn how to go surfing? I said, Hawaii's a state, stupid old. I think he got that blue paint off a job site, he said. <laughs> He he look he had a ring of blue paint around his face in a in a sandwich bag. I think he was huffing it. Yeah, he was oh, sucking the uh, old toxic. Let me, uh, let me go back. <laughs> let me go back to line one. Harry, you still there? I do not believe that sucking paint is by the Quran, but I also have a deal on lead mines. You can buy now. Lead mines, clay mines from the Vietnam era, five for five hundred dollar. That's a good deal. Euro. <laughs> And I'm not talking about the Greek where they carve it and put it on the pita. Euro, like, you know, the European Tara. You still selling those gold chains as a front to your store? The only chains I sell now are dead court. I mean, I do not know. <laughs> Did, weren't you starting a lawnmower business? If you have pepper trees, give me a call. I have Agent Orange on the back shelf. I can make for a pepper tree disappear. I'm in. You talk to Fast Eddie about that. <laughs> I have also come up with a new napalm, a styrofoam and gasoline mixture launched from a potato gun for your regular urban teen terrorist. Urban teen. Urban teen. <laughs> Dude, how much does this call cost you? you? Are you on one of those stolen uh, satellite phones again, calling from Kaboo? Track phone. Well, you know that we have Toyota trucks, brand new. We have brand new 4Runner over here, 2015, with 50 caliber mount already installed. <laughs> Hillary Clinton has given us the best technology to make war possibly. One last thing. Give me a fishing report from Kaboo. You take a stick of dynamite and throw it in the water and it upfloats the Jewish people. Man, you're pretty serious about that. But when I am in Inglewood at my tricky knees and it's old English 800 flavored Slurpees. I hear when you get back into the country, we're going to do an interview with you at Tricky D's convenience store. I have the new night train wine prepared now, ready to go in a Slurpee fashion at Tricky D's. And caller, are you on the line? Yes, I'm here. Hello, caller. I want to buy one of them RPGs. 
<laughs> I think we can get you a deal on one, uh, allegedly. So what I need is I need an RPG, two service air missiles, and a really good divorce lawyer. Let me patch you over to Harry Hindu. Stand by. <laughs> If you were to accidentally migrate over to the Middle East, you could take care of the problem with your wife legally. But unfortunately, we do not deliver to the continental United States, but you can go to Tijuana to pick up your packages and transport on your own back to the United States. All righty then. <laughs> Martin Brzezinski is the best lawyer in Sarasota <laughs> County. Give a call. <laughs> was, was, was that one of them uh, legal disclaimers? No, the legal disclaimer is going to come up in about two minutes. All right, then. This is Tater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tater. Hey, thanks for calling, Tater. we got to step out. All right, guys. Thank you, Virgil. All right, I hope you liked the show. If you heard something you didn't like, all you had to do was change the channel. You didn't have to sit there like a butt hurt leftist. I mean, liberal, and deal with it. We're going to have a good time, good weekend, and uh, global warming's a joke. This roof is T. Booyah. My opinion only. I'm out, sucker.